Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. We are at the study lounge from Valley Noble. We're doing a great interview with some of our intern students here at Brigham Young University in Hawaii. I'm your host tonight and I'm Sylves or Sylvia Rehana and we are going to hear from our next interview candidate, if you will. And she's going to introduce herself in just a second. Thank you, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, my name is Yixia, or you can just call me Jennifer. I came from China and I'm a senior student in Brigham Young University, Hawaii. And I'm learning business management, human resource, and theater and psychology are my minors. I gonna graduate next semester, so I kind of want to do some like internship stuff with like Valley Noble to get more experience. Awesome, <laughs> thanks Jennifer. So guys, like we're really privileged to be able to have Jennifer and her team who you have already met Kenny, but you will meet the rest of them in the following uh, days and weeks. We're really privileged at Valley Noble to get some of their insight and to especially see the learning experience from an international student. So Jennifer here is an international student. So we'll just jump into our questions tonight. What kind of factors led you to consider BYU as a study destination? I think I have a few like reasons. One is because this is a church school, like for me or for my family, they think it's more like safety environment for me, especially if I'm not a native speaker, I'm very afraid to go to a new environment to study. And, you know, different policy between the countries makes me scared or just feel like stress. But I feel like the church school, the church university helped me to build more faith to like study on here because I already knew those people are the members, like the people or students or professors, they are the member of the church. I know was like, was, was we want, we have the same goal like that. And that's much easier helped me to feel more comfortable after I came to on campus. Thanks for that, Jennifer. Uh, yeah, definitely, especially if you have a school that you can go to with the same values and beliefs as yourself. And in a different country, scary, but you know that you will have a similar background as yourself. So that's, mm -hmm. that's awesome. And you said that you're going to graduate next term? Yes. Next semester, sorry. Or at the end of yeah, the next semester. semester. Next semester. Oh, nice. And so that's a whole new different ball game. You're jumping into a new journey there. So what kind of things have you prepared yourself? Where are you going after, after BYU? Uh, I'm doing and searching like the information about applying for a graduate school mm -hmm. on mainline US, I think so. Okay. And I just gonna do a master like programs about business, whether for HR or marketing. Well, that's why we are very fortunate at Valley Noble to have the skills and expertise of uh, people like Jennifer who can share with us what they've learned uh, while they've studied at school at university so yeah lucky us at Valley Noble <laughs> well what, what about could you share some of the steps that you took I guess to initiate the enrollment process so what kind of things did you do leading up to BYU what kind of steps did you take Actually, I know some of the students may from China. They gonna, <clears throat> I know some of them may find other people to help them to do applications or like this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But when at, at that time, 
I did that like by myself, so I was wow. super lost when I searched the things. Yeah. Uh, yes, and you know, in China, we cannot use、uh, Google or Facebook like okay, that. Okay. Okay. So that would have been pretty difficult for you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Some sometimes it's very hard to have internet connections with Google, like、yeah. that, and and one. Biggest problem I made at that time when I applied the BYU Hawaii is I have to send my like transcript from my high school or any document to admissions email address because I can't find where I should upload at that page, website page, and I use my email address to send to them, but that email. Address is like Chin Chinese. Oh yes, yes. Um, companies, yes. And at that time, my I just cannot get any response from admissions, and I feel so lost. I even just missed the one deadline. Oh no! So I have to. <laughs> I like. Ex- And、um, delay, delay to next semester to okay, apply that. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. That, that would have been disappointing. Yes, and I try to connect with them because I the only way I know at that time is email. Yes. But nobody responds me. Oh no! So I was、do? super lost. <laughs> What did、yes. you do? Or how did you? Eventually, sort of get to where you had that response, or you were able to communicate with the school. I I tried to, I tried to search online to find、uh, like an app or a tool to yeah. call yeah, the yeah. admissions, like with a, like a virtual number. I think it's not like a real number. Just、yeah. use some tools, and I called them and I asked about what's happened, and they said, "Oh, we." Didn't get any email from you. Maybe it's just blocked by some somewhere yes, in somewhere.、Yes. Just blocked. And the, yeah, and they said you should try like Gmail or Outlook or Hotmail like that. And I just have to enroll a new one and send all the things to them、wow. again after that. <laughs> so yeah, that's a that's quite a a process for. I guess people that are coming through next time,、uh, or、mm-hmm. people that you may know who are coming to BYU or even other countries, that they would have to、mm-hmm. use a different system other than Google. Yes. Yeah. So, what kind of system do you think they should use in that instance? I feel like the system. Maybe they should like search more this kind of thing before they start to do that. I、yes. don't even know this thing, so I just do that, and I realize, oh, it's not work. I have to use my time to search that kind of thing and delay to next semester. <laughs> oh gosh, well, I'm I'm glad that you're very determined, so you were able to. Research and find a, a different way to、mm-hmm. to get your paperwork in. So good on you. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that kind of leads into the next question. Would be like what kind of challenges or difficulties did you face trying to get into BYU?、Mm-hmm. And that seems、mm-hmm. to be your biggest issue was being able to communicate while back home. Yes. Yeah, with the school. Did you have anything、mm-hmm. else that you know was like really? Challenging for you to get into BYU.、Mm, let me think. I, I feel like that's the biggest、uh, yeah. challenge at that time. Yes, like that, make that's me, a big one. Yes, <laughs> makes me just completely lost. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'll say. Well, well、yeah. done. Well done for sticking with it. Because yeah, that's yes. a big issue. So as an international <clears throat> student, I guess what was the What were some of the significant obstacles that you encountered when you went to BYU? So you've got accepted, and now you're at BYU. What do you think were the biggest、uh, obstacles for you there, or the challenges? Like, 
I um after I got like offer and oh, come to here. Yeah, yeah. So you're you've touched down in in Hawaii and you've met all your friends. You're going to school mm -hmm. and your classes. What kind of uh, challenges did you face as the student as you're going to classes? Hmm. I feel like. <clears throat> I feel like although I got like a lot of learning about English, whether for the test or during my high school, but when I, after I came to here, I realized the real, like in the real life, the lecture is not the same <laughs> with in my tests. Yes. Like yes. the professors, yeah, the professors speed up to talk about all the things or your classmates has questions you know native speaker whether for their like accents or speed yeah. sometimes i feel hard to understand yes, yes. or how they use the sentence like the grammar mm -hmm. grammar part yeah. yes yeah that's that's i take my hat off to all of you guys who come to byu as a uh, English as a second language because mm -hmm. even for me as a as an English native speaker it was you know it was difficult learning to understand a different education system but put language mm -hmm. barrier behind that is such a big big barrier for you guys isn't it yeah and I feel like sometimes I really want to make some friends with other people maybe they from um Net local or American mm -hmm. mainland, but the culture shock actually is a question or problem for me. Yes, I yes. try to communicate more with them, but like what knowledge we had is not the same. Yes, it's not, yes. 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 Yeah. Or sometimes I want to talk about, oh, I like this food in the cafe is very good and say oh we don't eat calf we go to some food truck like that but i just have no idea about <laughs> those things or any local stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i just don't know that <laughs> so yeah a big hurdle for you to i guess learn that culture and and a different mm -hmm. different way of doing things yeah yeah mm -hmm. so that will be tough for you guys and how did you yeah. so did you find friends that were able to sort of help you with your English or help you understand different things when you're studying yeah I my first day roommate helped me a lot oh, to awesome. whether for the life or studies yeah yeah and yeah I think if someone tell me about the information for this place or around the campus where is another like grocery store or like that that will be so helpful <laughs> oh that's well that's good to know definitely other people who are watching out there who are going to BYU who are looking to go to BYU definitely go and find you some local friends or is English mm -hmm. native speaking English friends who can help you or even just understanding what different things mean isn't it yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, thanks for sharing. That's that's so good. You know, it's it's really interesting to hear from your side of how you see uh, and experience mm -hmm. life <laughs> at university at BYU. What mm -hmm. about did how did you find being away from family? Was that your first time away from your family? Yeah, it's my first time to live such far away with from my family. Yeah. And Yes, and I'm the only child in my family, and I don't have any siblings. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, that so would like be tough. Um, yes, like yes. I, at the very beginning after I came here, so struggle. I homesick every day. Yes. I feel. <laughs> oh yeah, and how yeah. did you manage that? Like, what what did you do for yourself to to help you through those times? Sometimes I just call my call my mom or my family, but I don't want to talk too much. If I talk too much, I will be more sad. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's so true. Oh, yeah. I yes. Think that's, that is such a big one, especially if it's your first, like, first time away from home and you're in a whole different country. Yeah. And yeah, that's, yeah, you, you grow up really fast, don't you? Yes. Like, during the summer break, my mom came to Hawaii to oh, no. travel. Yes, yes. And it, Yes, and before that we didn't like we didn't see each other for two years long. I didn't back home during the two years, and yes. she said, the like when she saw me after she um took up from the airplane and saw me, she said, "Oh, you really grow up." Oh, <laughs> like that. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think like you just definitely different would. feeling. Yes, like she. You left as her baby, and then now you're yes. like, I'm an adult mom. I, I know how to do this. You're, you're living yeah. away from your family and making your own decisions. Yeah, you definitely grow up really fast. Mm -hmm. Well done. <laughs> I, I do remember the same thing of the, the homesickness um, and not mm -hmm. being able to contact my family. We didn't have mobile phones way back then oh. so it was a, a long time before phone calls um what mm -hmm. about uh, during pandemic so were you at school during the pandemic or you hadn't got there yet uh when i came to here is not such serious but okay, still okay. exists yes, yes yes did you have to go home or you stayed in in hawaii during that time uh, I I think I start to study on BYU Hawaii during the pandemic, so I study online for a year, okay. and after that I came on campus. Okay, okay, that's cool. Yes. That's cool. Oh wow, we're getting we better get yeah. into my next questions. I'm going all over the place. <laughs> what about who? <laughs> you, I guess because in Valley Noble, what we do is provide uh, academic services and supports as well as therapy. Who were the mm -hmm. people or what kind of <clears throat> tools did you use to help you, you know, during those tough times? Besides ringing mum, like, is, were there people that you could talk to or uh, things that you could do to help you during that time? Sometimes I talked with my, um, my friends. Yes, yes. But need to comfort me, but maybe not really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. It, is, it is tough. And I guess having that great support is really important, isn't it? When you're traveling and being yes. so far from home. Yeah, yeah. If I have any question, if I have any question about the school, I got, I asked my boss because okay. she, I work on campus and she know all the things on campus. I just ask someone have lots of experience. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's awesome to have somebody that knows their way around campus and able to give you those those places that you need to go, isn't it? So I forgot to ask, what do you do for work at uh, BYU? Uh, I work in about the theater department. I okay. work in a costume shop. Oh, nice, nice. That's <laughs> awesome. And I guess, too, like yes. working... What I found uh, was working with other people from different cultures helps with your communication, mm -hmm. helps you to talk more. Yes. Yeah, so that's yes. good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what about what motivated you because you're coming to the end? Awesome, well done. What has motivated mm -hmm. you and you know, kept that motivation throughout your academic journey? I feel like the motivation for me is, to be honest, is I want to have a good grace and to get a good job to, <laughs> to, to earn some money. Yes, 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 that's my biggest motivation. And I just want to like, improve myself. Good, good. That's yes. awesome. Thank you so much. What about, were there any specific academic or career goals that you wanted to do after, like, say you've done all your study, what would you like to do? After here or, like, next? 
I, after, I don't know, graduate school? Yeah, yeah, maybe after graduate school. Where do you wanna, where do you see yourself? I kind of have a career plan, but I hope that can be come true. I hope that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really want to do an internship or some kind of stuff about in an entertainment company or communication. Awesome, awesome. If I get a chance, I really want to do my internship or internship in Disneyland. I, I'm not sure. Okay, I just that's good. hope. Yeah. Yes. Always good to have some dreams, and you know you can, like I hope to share this so we can get more people that uh, watch this. We did a. We attended the APCC, yes, Asian uh-huh. Pacific uh, Korea. We were at that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think it's really great for you to be able to network with different people, companies, who will be able to yeah. connect you to to those different places after after you finish studying. So we'll yeah, keep our fingers I feel crossed. like I feel like APCC is very good chance for like especially for international students. Absolutely. Yeah, actually, actually before I attended APCC, I don't even know what kind of company, like, I can't go. Yes, yes. Yeah, because it's too, too broad. I, I don't know okay, which yes. way I should go. Yeah, I only know, like, the top one, like Amazon, but I think I cannot reach such much after graduate i have to step by step yes, so yes, it's, it's yes. a very good like opportunity to let all the international students to know this thing. absolutely and i think something similar to this like you can put yourself out there and get some mm-hmm. skills and how to do job interviews or even just connect yes. with others so yeah it was a great experience for us as well yeah so keep going definitely keep reaching for those goals that's awesome so i guess our uh, last but not least question is what would be your advice to give future students whether they're going to study uh, at byu or they're going to study Mm -hmm. outside of their country so other students from home what would what kind of advice would you give them going out to Uh, study Mm-hmm. I think my advice or suggestion is to as more as possible like prepare before you come to there and after you come to there if you have any question just don't afraid to ask to other people just ask other people to help you because you only know that kind of thing if you don't ask you will never know what's gonna happen absolutely awesome awesome thank you so much thank you so much thank you everybody for joining us and thank you again jennifer for joining us over here uh, at the study lounge with valley noble again we are very privileged at valley noble to have our expertise here from our students uh, just like jennifer and kenny yesterday thank you so much for jumping in and joining us please Uh, come and visit again. We've got a few more interviews to go, so join us there. Mm. (laughs) Thank you, Jennifer. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you.